Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to simply answer a client's question. How uh, the question is, how do you lock the door? The rim screw is removed and the trim lock tumbler is in the up position. So this client has a Von Duper 99 TP. It's a rim device or a, or a vertical rod. I'm not sure which the client has. And a TP function is a thumb piece. That's what the nine. Uh, that's what the TP stands for. So a 990 TP with a thumb. So the question is, how do you lock the door? Well, okay, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, what happens in a Von Duper 99 TP or a 99 device or a 98 device? Uh, the only difference between the two is is the aesthetic design. One is a smooth, and the other is a ribbed style case. The 990 TP is the trim that would go with a 99 device. 99 device plus a 990 TP, put those two together and you have a 99 TP. Um, the way that those work is the same as what would be called a classroom function. You can leave that thumb piece always rigid or you can insert your key, turn it around, take the key out. Now it's always active. And the client's not sure how that works. There is a drive screw that is in the uh, head case that you would leave when you were operating trim that would be a night latch function, meaning it's always locked. Meaning every single time that you're going to activate the device, it will remain in the locked position. If we remove the drive screw, which we'll do so in a second, the hub inside of the panic device can now freely spin 360 degrees in either direction. Well, what that does is it makes the mechanism on the inside as you turn the hub via the rim cylinder. The rim cylinder goes in, it's got its flat tailpiece, and my screwdriver is going to act as the tailpiece. As you insert the key, turn it 360 degrees and take it out, now the piece is in an opposite position. When you insert your key, turn it the opposite direction and take it out, now that piece moves down. Well, that piece controls whether or not you're going to be able to enter or exit. So the situation with a 990 TP trim is that if you're operating it as a classroom and you want to go in, operate the door, leave it locked on the exterior, you're going to need to turn that key back around and remove it so that you are uh, leaving the device in the locked condition. You can have the 990 TP and you can leave it in the locked position like a night latch all the time. And the only function really the 990 TP will have, when you put your key in and turn the key and hold it turned, as you turn the key it retracts the latch. Well the 990 TP would just act as a pull handle at that point. The TP, the thumb piece would be rigid. Anyway, here's what the device looks like. I have a 99 device here, and let's go over it. So what we have here, I'm going to turn it the other way. What we have here is, right there is the drive screw, okay? That drive screw is installed and is forcing the hub to be connected to parts on the inside. This is going to be the tailpiece of my rim cylinder. As I have the tailpiece of my rim cylinder installed and I turn my key, I turn it, retracts the latch. Turn it the other way, retracts the latch. So any way that I turn my key, I will be able to come in. The point, however, is that it always stays in the locked position. If I use, if I remove the, the NL drive screw, and this I believe is a 532nd of an inch um, Allen wrench. If I get in there and I simply remove the drive screw and turn that out, you can hopefully see that it's coming out and it has come out. Okay, I'm just going to put that down. So what happens is this is the plate that restricts or limits the operation. The TP has an arm that sticks into the case and will go right into this hole and as you push the TP down that lever arm will, will cock up forcing that portion 
to move up, retracting the latch. Okay. If I were to take my, and, and that would leave the thumb piece always active. The lock is, the exit device is always, it's always latched, but it's unlocked from the outside. I can always come up to it, depress the thumb piece, and pull the door open because depressing the thumb piece pushes this up, pulls the latch in. If I were to insert my rim cylinder again, return it, and rotate this in the opposite direction, that plate comes down. Now what happens is I'm always locked. My lever arm is still inside of the head case, but I can't, if I push on it, it's locked and I can't push it up. So now it's locked on the outside until I put my key in, turn my rim cylinder, forcing the plate to move up. Now I can always activate it. I can always use my thumb piece to retract the latch bolt. Uh, that's simply how this works. So the control on the unit is from the exterior. Um, the control, the control on the exterior trim, is handled on the in the head case itself, and the control of that is quite simply as a result of the orientation of this slide. I put the drive cam back in. So the, the position of this slide is what's going to prevent or allow the thumb piece lever arm from moving up. And you can see how it's non-handed. If I were to take all of this and simply flip it over, it would work for the opposite hand. Okay, That's how that works. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Von Duper in the name is synonymous with incredibly high quality exit devices. And I hope this video helped illustrate exactly how this trim is going to work and how it works in communication with the head, with the functionality really under the head case. Thank you very much.